21 Pilots fans, thank you for being nice. You're by far and away the nicest fan base of any band I've ever interacted with. I put up a video a couple of days ago completely blind, and I was sure I was going to put my foot in my mouth. I was going to say something that was going to piss off the hardcores. Um, and the vast majority of you in the comments have actually been really nice. You've just been giving me more background, more recommendations, sort of like suggesting I should listen to this, this, and this. And you know what? I will. So, I thought, let's do a part two where I react to some of the other older 21 Pilot songs that I have never heard before. Um, so I thought I'd give a shout out to a couple of comments that uh, my girlfriend picked out that were particularly nice. We had Jedi Tear One, who said about uh, 21 Pilots of their own genre. Every song will leave you thinking, well, this is different. Uh, and we also had Lancey B247, who said you should check out some other T.O.P. I really enjoyed your take on the reaction. Uh, this song is very atypical from its sound. So... I thought, yes, Lance CP and Jedi Tear and everyone else who was actually very nice in the comments and suggested, let's do it. So without further ado, let's jump in and try our first one out, which is Car Radio. I'm expecting there to be genre bending going on here. I ponder of something great. My lungs will fill and then deflate. They fill with fire. Okay, so it's kind of got that spoken word rap type thing going on. Uh, I have heard this song before. He does look like he's got a lot of shit to work out, and still does. <laughs> ah, is he gonna shave his head? I fucking, yeah, I have seen this. Um, cause even at the beginning when this song started, I was like, he's got hair, that's not what I've seen any other pictures of him like. Um, weirdly, normally I think people don't look as good shaven, but he seems to. Also, that's a really nice bass line coming in. See, now, I would possibly fall into the trap of calling this pretentious. Um, if it wasn't that I now seem to know that it seems quite genuine. He's not kind of like bullshitting this stuff up to just try and be kind of like deep and artsy and gruff. Um, or maybe not gruff, but you know what I mean. Um, but it seems like, from what I've been told, this guy does actually have quite a lot of struggles. Um, and this is probably him more speaking from the soul, which I appreciate. Tell you what, you only get one take on this one. If you'd fucked up the camera work, that would have sucked. You know what this reminds me of, which is probably going to piss people off. I'm getting a little bit of Linkin Park in there. That's I think it's just because he's sort of rapping, not really. I think it's just, uh, oversimplification to say he's rapping, but it's a good idea for a video. Wonder if he grew his hair out special for it, or this is like a transition. Ah, okay. Yeah, this synth stuff I can take or leave. Uh, okay, now he's gonna go straight out on stage. That's a clever transition. I'm assuming that wasn't a fluid one taker, but um, I like the way they, they interact with their live audience, even 10 years ago, apparently. I also like, uh, I missed it. There was one person whose face was blurred who clearly was like, no, I don't want to be famous in the music video. Also, Wally. I found him. I found Wally. Oh, so the drummer does the synth stuff as well. That's cool. He's live. Sick. Okay. He's fucking going in, the drummer boy. That's a good drop. I was not expecting that. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that, but I wasn't. <laughs> Grip onto the fucking bouncer. I really like the way he brought that drop in as well. Like from a physical standpoint, when he was in the crowd, the body language, the energy he brought in, that was so fucking cathartically genuine. Okay. Now we get some screams. It's like he's like spasming. Good lord. I have shivers. I just kind of want to give him a hug. Well, that was really good. I mean, I'm not going to lie, from just a purely musical perspective, it's not really my thing so much. It's just a bit, well, yeah, I don't know, too synth heavy, which is weird because I like power metal. But um, I really liked, actually, the lyrics are really good. They're very clever. I like the way he makes us these analogies with the car radio. I'm sure people in the comments will be able to tell me what that song is about more specifically because I'm sure there is like fucking layer upon layer upon layer of like nuance and subtlety with those lyrics it seems like that's kind of their style the drop was really effective the drummer does a lot of hard work to try and keep that shit together he's like the the rock that everything else is built upon um he's got a really interesting energy just as a dude um i'm digging it all right let's move on to stressed out oh it's billy eilish but before it was cool Ah, okay, we've got the black neck and hands now. Um, so someone, my girlfriend did tell me, supposedly this is where he feels his anxiety the most, in his neck and in his hands, so that's where he paints. I might have gotten that wrong. I think that's what she told me, which, again, justifies it. I quite like 
Like, whenever you get bands and artists who wear like body or face paint, I like it. I think it's cool, but I like it even more when there's a reason for it. You know, like that there's a specific law behind why it is the way it is. So you know, I like that. It's cool. Okay, so we're still on the kind of spoken uh, spoken word type stuff. I like that uh, synth line in the background. I like the way that it was slightly off tone for a second. That's clever. Oh yeah, yeah, the the better the little uh, suspension before it gets to the uh, root note, whatever that is. It's, that's really effective. I like that. Also, that is possibly the fanciest, fanciest handshake I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I fucking know this song. I have heard this song before. Okay. This is super famous. The drum is so animated. I've got to respect it. Ah, oh, that's super clever. I like the uh, written dialogue on the side. It's the, um, like the silent movie style. I'm still getting some kind of Linkin Parky vibes. I'm not going to lie. I like these verses a lot. They're like... I don't know whether or not I don't like the chorus as much purely because I've... That's the only bit I can remember, and I feel like I've kind of heard it in nightclubs and situations where I don't like it so much. I've been a bit overexposed. It's quite good, and also, again, I'm not leveling at this song specifically because I've kind of had my mind opened a little bit to Twenty One Pilots. But it's the same reason why I fucking hate the song Summer of Sixty Nine. I hate that like forced nostalgic feel. I feel like it probably isn't forced in this particular circumstance, but it, my, my defenses are always up with this kind of stuff now. The uh, microphone dangling off the roof is a good. Uh, it's a good detail. Also, it's a good vocal performance. Trying to jump up into that falsetto stuff is hard. Oh, that's a really nice edit. They're really dynamic as a duo, though. But the bass, the drum parts aren't like really, really crazy, but they are like delivered well and perfect for the song. It must be weird to sort of make this kind of stuff with your immediate family like that. Okay. Was it expecting the vocal change? That synth line is really good. Those red contact lenses are super unnerving as well. Well, I didn't realise I already knew that song, sort of. Um, I mean, again, I've never looked like gone out of my way to, to, to look it up before, but I didn't know it was 21 Pilots. It's good. The chorus is catchy. I think I maybe have just been, like, kind of overexposed and built up a, like, a bias against that one that is not fair to the band. It's a well-written piece of music. The, the lyrics are clearly quite soulful. Um, yeah, it's fine. I like the previous one more, actually. I, d I did like the previous one more, but um, I still liked it. I definitely wouldn't seek that one out. I'd be more inclined to look up Car Radio, I think. Um, anyway, let's move on to Heavy Dirty Soul. I'm, I'm kind of waiting for this genre change thing to happen again, because everyone in the comments is telling me that they're very distinct, like the songs really don't follow on. And I agree that in so much that the next semester doesn't sound like either of those two, but I think those two did sound somewhat similar. Oh, he's proper rapping now, okay. Sick, okay. It's like Beastie Boys or some shit. <laughs> That's a good shot as well. But damn, his like, high voice is really impressive. I like the way that the bass and all that come in for this chorus. It's um, effective. It's a good harmony on the whacking on that as well. He looks cold. The on-fire drum kit is a super good visual. It's effective the way that it's it's got such a hollow sound with just the uh, drums and then the, when the, there's a synth come in. Um, it's good. Okay, I like the kind of half speed thing going on here as well. It's a good vocal hook. It definitely is a good vocal hook. I don't know whether I'm finding it a little bit repetitive, maybe? That drum kit is taking a very long time to burn. It's a very, very cool shot though. I mean, it really feels like he means everything he says. I've got to give him credit for that. I will say, people are right in uh, telling me that they are a genre unlike anything else. They do blend a lot of... Uh, like, I can p pin bits and pieces and be like, well, that sounds like Linkin Park and that sounds like this and that. But that is um, super fucking... The, that one is distinct. I mean, I know that the rapping kind of, you could argue, is similar. But um, I think that was my favorite one so far. The, the, they do a good, very good job with the layer building up. I mean, I know it's just a two-piecer, so I'm assuming that yeah, they're both multi-instrumentalists. Um, but the way that they kind of like layer up and down those synths and so on with the keys, it's, it's pretty fucking impressive, actually. His voice also, actually, especially singing in the um, high registers, really, really fucking impressive. I didn't say it properly for one of the previous songs uh, for Stressed Out. That his like transition into uh, falsetto is chef's kiss. Uh, anyway, let's move on to the last one. Heathens are from the Suicide Squad album. Interesting. Oh, is that like the first Suicide Squad? This came out seven years ago. So this is going to have to be the shit one, right? 
Well, I hope the song is better than the film because that film sucks a lot of ass. Is this music video also going to be like Suicide Squad Squatty now? Mm -hmm. I hope not. Ah, oh, fucking is as well. This song better slap. Okay, 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 cool. That harmony um, auto tuning thing is very effective. Oh, they're still gonna give me some of this bullshit. Okay, that's cool. I like him just in the drama, uh, in the uh, cell. Will Smith. I really like the harmonies in this. That fucking falsetto is so good. So not so much the way of the rapping stuff in this one. You know, these guys know their way around a fucking keyboard. This film is so silly. How is this song so heartfelt? There's his bass. Ah, uh, that's a nice transition. Good outfit too. Is, I like seeing him with a guitar in his hands. Maybe that's just like kind of also that stop was fucking amazing. He looks slick as fuck. I never thought someone could pull off mustard, but nice. That little drum fill was sick. It's a good ass drop. I, they, they seem to be quite good at these like suddenly it all explodes and fucking synths are going everywhere and um, you know the, the, the vocals kind of like get more delay and reverb on them. They do a drop really fucking well. God damn it, this video would have actually been really good if they'd just taken all of the fucking random bits from the film out. Even the prison stuff is fine. Just fuck off, Suicide Squad. I really like that one. I think of the ones I've just watched, that was my favorite. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like the sound kind of matured over time. I don't know whether or not that's... I mean, that's not to say that the earlier stuff isn't, like mature because fucking hell the guy clearly has like some demons that he is channeling through that stuff it all feels very genuine um they're very good i've seemed to have picked up on these from these four songs that there's they're very very good at layering and building up and down like working with not a lot like it's from what i can tell it's more or less multi-layer vocals a couple of synth tracks a bass and a drum fairly simple stuff but it's really really the way they build it up and down um his voice is really impressive. He goes from being a, like, really, really good singer. Like, you know, S-tier, high... Like, I just... I know I've already said it a few times, but tra transitioning into that falsetto is really difficult to do fluidly. Uh, and he doesn't miss a fucking beat, so that's really good. Um, the videos were... Actually, no, I, actually, I liked all the videos, with the exception of this fucking uh, Suicide Squad one. I liked the video. I just... Oh, God. I don't know why it was so triggering to me having all the... Uh, I think maybe I just successfully blotted that film out. Um, so it's a bit annoying when it's shoehorned in. But hey, if someone's like, hey, here's a bunch of money and a set, but the trade-off is you have to have Will Smith in this video briefly, um, then cool. That is, I don't blame them for taking it up. That song was really good. I really like... There's a couple of like very clever rhythmic bits in there where they kind of like stop for the... I think it was just a, um, you know, like a non-corded, just a muted uh, thing on the guitar but it was really really effective the the yeah i really like that one the way that the vocals are like layered again that harmony on top of it i without going back and like analyzing it, i couldn't tell you it might be an octave it might be more than that but it's at least an octave um over the whole thing that's really effective the songs really do feel like they're from the heart the drummer's oozing fucking charisma as well i'd love him behind me on a set uh, on a stage he like I know what it is about his motion, but it's really, really effective. They both have that actually. They both have this like frenetic energy that really feels like they're like you know. Well, yeah, just performing from the soul. I think is the sort of like leading part of that. So um, yeah, no, I actually really did like that. I think of all of them, yeah, Heathens would be the one I would put on my playlist. Um, stressed out. I've just heard the chorus too many times already, kind of out of context, and now I think I probably wouldn't but i like i like that a lot and you know what i'm also open to more 21 pilots Come, maybe i'll do a third one really milk this bitch um where i can listen to some slightly more obscure ones because i think these ones are probably like you know the more radio not radio friendly but the one the ones that did well right the big the big fucking singles but uh yeah well thank you 21 pilots uh fans for putting me onto this i really appreciate just the nice vibes and the suggestions and the wanting for, you know, to share what something that you love with me. So, yeah, that was really great. Thank you. If you've got any other songs you'd like me to react to, chuck them in the comment below. Give us a subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.